All right, welcome back to the channel. If you're just joining me for the first time, welcome. I'm gonna walk through a field strip for the Mauser HSC in 32 ACP. The first order of business, of course, is to clear the weapon. This is pretty much a given, but folks will call you out on it in the comments if you don't show this on camera. So with this weapon, you're going to release the magazine at the bottom of the frame and just rack the slide as with any other automatic pistol. Once clear, you're going to look inside the trigger guard. Inside, there is a small switch. It is spring-loaded, and while I have done this with my finger, it is much easier with a tool. I would recommend using something like a pencil, wood, or some other material that's not metal to prevent damage to the gun itself. It is a little tricky. It's not easy, and it takes me a couple of tries to do this. While you're pressing down on the switch, you want to apply pressure forward and up on the slide at the same time for it to release similar to a Walter PPK. Once the slide is free, if you notice when you press that button again, there is a large plunger in the frame that moves. The spring inside that plunger is just strong enough to hold the slide into place. Inside the forward area of the slide, there are two cutouts on each side, which correspond with two notches protruding from the frame. The pressure forward and up is trying to align the two, two to separate the two halves of the gun. Next, remove the barrel and slide spring. Simply apply forward pressure to the barrel, pull it down, and it should come right out. I would like to demonstrate taking the slide apart for cleaning, but that will have to wait for another day. It's not a part of the standard field strip. The next process, I caution you to be extremely careful. Original grip screws for this gun do not grow on trees. So what I did here, since I don't own an armorer's toolkit, I took an old t-shirt to use as a barrier and a very small screwdriver to remove the grip screws. I use a barrier like this so I don't mess up the screws or strip them out. Once you have everything apart, you can clean as needed. Q-tips, cloths, gun oil, frog lube, hops, wipes, whatever you choose. If you aren't very experienced in cleaning firearms, you can check out some of my other videos, especially on the ones about my 25 caliber pistols, where I really go in detail on simple, cheap, yet effective methods of cleaning older firearms. To reassemble, just go in reverse order. Replace your grips and grip screws on both sides. Next, place the slide spring and barrel back together and into the slide. The spring can go either way from what I understand, and I tried it both ways and it fits pretty well. When you're ready to put the slide back into place, remember to take note of where the notches and grooves are located for proper fitment. If you're watching this and working with a gun this old, you certainly don't want to risk damaging it, anything, including your own confidence. It might take you a few attempts to get it to seat properly onto the frame. Once the slide engages and you can feel it pulling the hammer, it is good to go. It's ready for one final exterior wipe down and the next trip to the range. Thanks for watching, thanks for coming by, and I'll see you in the next one.